Hi, all my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is a haul video, and it's going to include some makeup and some perfume. So I can't wait to get right into this video, but it may be a little lengthy, so definitely grab you a little snack, and then that way you can just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so as you know, I love makeup and I can't wait to show you some of the makeup products that I've actually bought. There is a beauty YouTuber and she has been on YouTube for I think 10, 11 years, something like that. I'm not sure, but I have followed her for a very long time and she's kind of like one of the first YouTubers that I watched, you know, for makeup. So, and she's very well known in the beauty community. She just did her very first collaboration. And she did her collaboration with Makeup Revolution. So, and I'm talking about Emily Noel. And I picked up both of her palettes and this one is the Emily Edit palette and this is the Needs. So she has to, I'll show you the other one in just a moment. It's really cute, you know, packaging. And this one is, she just kind of took her favorites, I think, from what Makeup Revolution already had. And she just kind of added her little spin to it. And this is a, you know, got a full size mirror on it. It has a blush. It has a, a bronzer, contour, um, a highlighter, and then this one also I think you were supposed to use as a, like a highlight, but I would think like under the brow bone you could use that, and then it's got like the six shades. So this is the Needs palette. And then she came out with her own eyeshadow palette. She chose the colors, the names, and everything. And this particular one is called uh, the Emily Edit The Wants Palette. So it's a pretty good size palette. You can see in comparison to the Needs Palette. This is her eyeshadow palette called The Wants Palette. I actually ordered mine from Ulta and when it came in, mine was damaged. But I kind of pressed these back together and um, I think it, I did pretty well, but these are all the shadows that she has in here. So far, you know, everything seems to be um, okay. I have, you know, there's some hit or misses in this, but if you would like to see a review on this palette, a full review, then just let me know. I can definitely do that. You just have to leave me some comments down below. Okay, the next Thing that I purchased is actually by Jaclyn Hill and it is another collaboration with Morphe. Yes, it, this is the Jaclyn Hill Vault and it actually has four palettes. You can buy these individually or you can buy them as a collective set. And they each have a mirror inside which I really like that. This one's the Ring the Alarm, and this is the one that I have now. And she does have the names of the shadows imprinted. This next one is called Armed and Gorgeous. I'm gonna take this off so you can see it better. Armed and Gorgeous. And the next one is Bling Boss. And it has some really really pretty colors. Bling Boss. Okay, and the last one is called Dark Magic. And these are the shades. Dark Magic. That is pretty much all of the makeup that I hauled so far, um, but I would like to show you some of my perfumes that I purchased. Okay, the first one that I actually got was C Passion, and this is an Eau de Parfum in it is spicy. I'm just gonna say that. I will do a full review over this perfume because I know y'all have all been wanting to know about this perfume. Look at that bottle. Isn't it really pretty? I just love it. I love that kind of reddish orange color. 
but it's just very, it's, it's very spicy. I can't wait to do a full review over this and let y'all know how I like it. And I have to say I have been wearing it for a little while. So um, definitely be looking for the review over this perfume. I love this so much at Ulta where I got my perfume, my C perfume. Um, I got this, I got a free uh, Giorgio Armani gift and I could choose. This is Sky and yeah. And here's the bottle. This is a, let's see if it has a size on here. It is a 0.5 fluid ounce. It's a good size, you know, bottle. So I think this is gonna last me quite a while. But what does this guy smell like? It, you know, on first smell, because I haven't worn it yet, it almost reminds me of the Dolce & Gabbana, is it Liam, Liam Tris 3? Liam Tris 3, I hope I'm saying that right. But it kind of reminds me of that. It's kind of fruity and fresh. So I can't wait to really put this on and try it out. Okay, another perfume that I actually hauled. This came from HSN. And now I just looked on the website. They still have this in stock. I don't know how many they have. But this is by Jane Seymour. And it's from her Open Heart Collection. And it is the op her Open Heart Pour Femme Eau de Parfum. This was like $69, I want to say, when it first came out. I think that's the price, $69. And I actually got this for like 16 bucks. I could not be more happier. Look at this packaging. This bottle is so pretty. And this is a 3.4 fluid ounce. And it is so, it smells so good. I spritzed this on my wrist when this came in and I'm like, okay, this perfume is really a beautiful perfume. I'm not going to get all into it. I'm going to try to do a review over this perfume because I really like it that much. And I'm thinking, how could they clearance it to $16? I mean, I know it's kind of hard when it's on HSN and people really can't, you know, smell it, but I think it's a really gorgeous scent. I'm going to look up the notes real quick, see if I can find it. Okay, so the notes in that fragrance, let me tell you. Pear, the top note is pear, the middle notes are osmanthus, pink peony, and vanilla orchid, and the base notes are cashmere wood and suede. Now let me tell you, that perfume, it's gorgeous on my skin. Go to hsn.com See if they have any left. I mean, this would be a great blind buy. I'm telling you, $16. I think it's worth the $69. I think it's a really pretty fragrance. I'm just saying. So, and I wanted to tell y'all about it really quickly. Get, a, get on here and tell y'all about this because I just got it in today. So definitely go online and check it out. I hope they still have some left. Okay, another perfume that I got, and this one's really reasonable. This one was like $8, and one of my subscribers told me about this. They were like, Jody, go on Amazon, and this is the Kim Kardashian Gold Eau de Parfum, and this is the one ounce. It was like $8, and it smells really good. I mean, I did wear this last night and it stayed on my skin for a very long time. I couldn't believe it. But it's very rich. It's very, it almost is, in a way, it's like masculine. And then it's like, it turns so vanilla and kind of sweet. It's just very, it's very, it is very rich and dark. I would say rich and dark. So definitely go to Amazon.com. I'll try to leave some links down below for these perfumes, but go to Amazon.com and definitely check this one out. One point ounce, and this is my second perfume by Kim Kardashian, so or Kim Kardashian West, but this must have been before she was West because it's not West on the packaging. It just says Kim Kardashian Gold, so. But anyway, you can go check that one out. Okay, there is a YouTuber on here that does perfume reviews. She does beauty as well. Love her so much. She is super sweet. So sweet. Her name is Demi Rowling, and I've probably 
talked about her before. I'm pretty sure I have. But she kind of like suggested some perfumes and I was like, I can't, I said, Demi, I can't choose. Like, which one do you think I should choose? She actually picked one and she said, this is really my favorite. I really think you'll like this, Jody. And that one is coming. But I went ahead and bought this one as well because I just, her review on it, it just, I had to get it. This is Agent Provocateur Fatal Intense Eau de Parfum. <laughs> and this has got vanilla in it, I'm pretty sure. It's like very vanilla, dark, sexy. Yeah. It's very, you know, I was describing this to one of my friends last night. He also has a YouTube channel and his is Among the Stars perfume. And I was talking to him, his name is Alex. And I was telling him about this perfume and I was like, Alex, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a perfume like Atomic Blonde would wear. Um, you know, where she's just this, you know, beautiful bombshell but she can kick your butt. So that's what this perfume kind of reminds me of. Just let me know if you want to see any reviews over any of these perfumes, just let me know. But this is Agent Provocateur Fatal Intense Eau de Parfum. Okay, so the next perfume, everybody has been telling me, Jody, you've got to get this perfume, gotta get it. Well, I did, I bought it. And this is A Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. And mm, I know little Emmy from Emmy Ever After, she's also a perfume reviewer. And she, this is like, she talks about this and says this is her, you know, signature scent. And it smells so good. This is a definite gourmand fragrance, very sweet, very rich. It's really pretty. It's a really, really beautiful scent. So if you would love for me to do a review on this Eau de Parfum, then just let me know because it's really gorgeous. I'm almost done here. Okay, so I had to get this perfume. I love Tracer La Nuit, and this is Tracer La Nuit à la Folie. I have like almost everyone from this set, I'm pretty sure. But this one is so, it's it's almost like, it, it's, it makes me want to say it's sweeter than La Nuit. It's fresher for sure. It's not like deep and dark like La Nuit is. This one's a little more fun. And what do I want to say this is? Definitely flirty. I just, I just love these perfumes. Lancome and these Tresor perfumes, oh my goodness, they, I don't, mm. I'm definitely doing a review over this. In fact, I might do a review over like, or like a comparison over like my whole Tresor collection that I have. So if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I wanna mention another YouTuber and her, she's so, so sweet. And her name is Scent Bubbles, or that's her YouTube name, Scent Bubbles. And we've been chatting back and forth, and she actually entered me in a little competition or a little, um, what do you want to call it, like a giveaway on Instagram. And it was with Fragrance Group, I believe that's what it was. And it was their Halloween perfume, and yeah, Halloween Eau de Toilette perfume. And I actually won. <laughs> so... Thank you, Scent Bubbles, and I really appreciate it. But I try to tag people too, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you have an Instagram account, go to Instagram right now, well, after this video, and click um, the little search. You can enter in my name, and you can add me. But this is the perfume that I actually won. So I was like, this is cool. So thank you, Fragrance Group, as well. It's very, very bright, fresh, floral. It's a very clean scent. And yeah, I mean, I was pretty excited on anything by this brand, this company. So I was pretty excited to get it and wear it. And we'll see how it goes. And if I like it, 
or if I don't, I'll let you know. Lastly, I would like to talk about a perfumer, Byron Perfumes. And he's really, he's all over Instagram. He's all over YouTube, like promoting his brand and his products. He has sent me a full size, and he did not have to do this. He wanted to send me a perfume, because I was like, you know, which one of your perfumes do you think would be good for me? And he was like, Pirates. And I'm like, okay. So I thought he was going to send me, you know, like this, you know, little sample of it. He actually sent me a full size bottle. It's a 3.38 ounce and all the way from Paris. I mean, I was so excited. I got this huge bottle. Now, I have to say, he did not ask me to mention him whatsoever in a video, in a post, nothing. He sent me this just for me, I think, to love it as much as he loves it. But I wanted to mention it here, and I'll leave a link down below. And this is called Pirates. And this perfume is a beast. Absolutely does not. I mean, you have to wash this off. I mean, like, really wash it off if you want it to come off. Because, and it just, it's floral. It's so weird because it's like, in a way, it's kind of masculine. It has a masculine vibe to it, but then it's gorgeous and sweet and floral. And it, it, it's like, I don't know how he did this, but it's it just smells really, really good. And if y'all want me to do a full review on this fragrance and tell you a lot more about this fragrance house, I will definitely do that. But I will be leaving a link down below go on Instagram, go show him some love, go chat him up, and he can tell you everywhere where you can buy his perfumes, and yeah, I mean, I've worn this a couple of times, and I have to say, it's sweet, floral, and it's of strong, not like strong like that, but I mean like, the sillage is there, but the longevity is what is the kicker, I mean, it just keeps going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. So this is going to last me for a long, long time for sure. So definitely go and check out Byron Perfumes. Okay, so that is everything that I have hauled. I have received as a gift. I have received as a prize. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And listen, if you enjoyed this video, I want you to hit that like button, the thumbs up button. Hitting that like button lets me know that you're enjoying these videos and you want me to continue to do these types of videos. That's just some feedback that I can get from y'all. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're not a part of the Peacock family, definitely, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button today and also hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. So thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.